and welcome to another tutorial by the Internet Freedom Team. Today's tutorial is going to talk about Freegate. Freegate is an anti-censorship software that was produced by Dynamic Internet Technology, or DIT. And what Freegate does is connect you to the Internet through uh, DynaWeb, which is DIT's peer-to-peer -peer like proxy network system. Uh, one of the great things about Freegate is that it is self-contained, which means you don't have to install anything on your computer. You just double-click the program, it'll open up, and then open up a browser for you. And what this means is that you can take it with you anywhere. You can put it on a USB flash drive, take it with you to an internet cafe, and be secure and uh, able to access information and websites that you wouldn't normally be able to anywhere that you go. And then once you close the program, it closes the uh, web browser and nobody knows you were using it. So let's get started and go get the software first. So you're going to open up your web browser and I'm using Mozilla's Firefox here. Now normally I'd give you the website to go to right here, but we're just going to go to Google and type in Freegate. Okay, and then it should be one of the top choices. Now the reason I didn't tell you the website right away is because it's pretty involved. It's www.dit-inc.us forward slash freegate. And this takes you to DIT's website. And we're, right now we're under their Freegate heading. And you can read about Freegate and you can go and visit the rest of the uh, tabs on DIT's website. And uh, here on the left hand side is a tab for Freegate. We're going to click on that. This allows you to either download the program, view the user guide, or view screenshots. You're going to want to view the user guide if you want to get into some of the more advanced features of Freegate. But for right now, we're just going to go through a simple download, get it up and running, and uh, you know, so that you can use it right away. So we're going to click on download here. Okay. And it gives you a couple of choices. We're going to go with the professional edition. Click save file. You can read more about the emergency edition in their, uh, their user manual. So now that we've downloaded it, we're going to close both of these out, and I'm going to go get our file. Now, like I said, this is a self-contained program. Once I double-click this icon here, it's going to open up the user interface, and then once it's connected to the service, it's going to open up a web browser. So let's double-click this and start connecting to the service. I'm going to run. Okay. This is the user interface. There are a couple of different tabs here. Uh, the server, status, tunnel, and settings. Obviously settings are pretty self-explanatory. You can set it to delete the history uh, when you exit the program. Uh, you can set it not to open a browser when the program starts. Uh, you can start Freegate when you start your computer. And there are a couple other options here. Hold on a sec. Um, you can set it not to use Internet Explorer or set an Internet Explorer proxy. This is in case you want to set it up to use it with, say, Firefox. But for right now, like I said, we're just going to go with setting it up to use it with Internet Explorer. So now we're connected. This is the Internet Explorer window that it popped up. This is the one that's going to be safe um, that we can use to access websites that we wouldn't have been able to normally. Now, with my other, as with my other tutorials, I'm going to go and show you that the IP addresses are different. So they can show you that you are being protected by this program. So I'm going to open up my unprotected uh, web browser, Firefox here, and I'm going to go to www.what is my IP.com. Now, as with my other tutorials, I'm showing you my actual IP address. And obviously, I'm blocking some of it out because I want to be secure just like I want you to be secure. So, but this is my real IP address. This is the, compu this is the IP address that my computer here sends out everywhere, unprotected, um, and a very, very easy to trace. So, what I'm going to do now is open back up the Freegate Internet Explorer browser and I'm going to go to www.whatismyip.com and right there you can see that the numbers have changed so Freegate is protecting me making it much harder 
to find out who I am and trace where I've been. It'll also do that when you close the program. Okay, so you've, uh, you're done freely accessing the internet and you want to make sure that you're even more secure. So you want to get rid of your internet browsing history. Well, that's really easy to do with Freegate. One of the settings you can set inside of Freegate allows you to delete the Internet Explorer history when the program exits. That's good because then the next person can't see, you know, the next person at the Internet Cafe can't see what you were looking at. Anybody who takes a look at your computer can't see where you were at and can't tell that you've been using uh, a circumvention tool in order to get around firewalls or web censorship or even just to hide your IP address. So delete the IE history when program exits and uh, you know you'll be more secure so then all you have to do to close all the browsers is exit the user interface and you can do that by clicking the big X or by going down and clicking exit now it should ask me if I want to keep the Internet Explorer windows open or if I want them to close and you can also have it do it every time you close the program. I'm going to set it to do it every time because this way if I have to quickly close everything all I have to do is exit the user interface and then I'm going to click close IE windows it closes all the Internet Explorer windows that were open and connected to Freegate while at the same time deleting all of the uh, Internet Explorer browsing history so that's all there is to uh, downloading and using Freegate. Now there are some more advanced options. You can set up um, some emergency options for really heavily censored areas. Um, so I would suggest taking a look at their user manual in order to get the most out of Freegate that you can get. But with this tutorial, if you follow my instructions, you should be able to at least use it to access the internet more freely. I hope this has been of some help to you, and thanks for viewing our tutorial.